both a menstrual cup and a menstrual disc, collect your menstrual flow instead of absorbing it like a tampon or a pad. Both of them can be worn safely for up to 12 hours depending on how light or how heavy your flow is. An average large size menstrual cup will hold approximately the same amount of capacity as a menstrual disc. Both with a cup and the disc, you can use any internal birth control such as an IUD or a ring. Using either of these menstrual collectors will not interfere with the delicate balance of pH in your vagina. The similarities between a menstrual cup and a menstrual disc stop there. To hear the differences between the two of them, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Fred Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. A menstrual cup is bell or funnel shaped and is usually made out of some kind of silicone. You can also find them made out of TPE and at least one that is made out of gum rubber. A menstrual disc is a menstrual disc like the soft cup or the flex cup are made out of a polymer blend and they're more shaped like a diaphragm. A menstrual cup comes in several different shapes, sizes, diameters, firmness, and even colors. Up until now, a menstrual disc has only come in one size, and it may not be suitable for all since the diameter of the rim is quite large. You can fold a menstrual cup several different ways. Certain folds create a smaller insertion point. Some people find that certain folds help them have a better grasp on the cup while they're inserting it. And others find that a specific fold helps them get a particular cup to open up easier. A menstrual disc is only folded one way, and that is to pinch the center of the rim together, kind of like a taco. A menstrual cup can sit below the cervix or nestled high around the cervix. Some cups create a suction or a seal, which may help the cup stay in place depending on the cup and your body. A menstrual disc sits underneath of your cervix and rests inside of the vaginal fornix nearest to your anus. The last part of the disc is then tucked in and behind your pubic bone. The menstrual disc doesn't create any kind of a suction or a seal. Because of the shape, some people may find that removing and emptying a menstrual cup may be easier and less messy. You insert two fingers, pinch the base and walk the cup down, keeping it upright until you're ready to tip it over and empty it into the toilet. Removing the menstrual disc can be a little bit more tricky. You would insert your finger and hook it around the ring. You'll want to keep it as parallel as possible or you may dump the contents of the disc. One tip is to roll your pelvis back and then remove the disc. Some people may find that the disc doesn't hold as much fluid as they like because the baggie may not be fully expanded when it's inserted. A single purchase of a menstrual cup can last upwards to 10 years with proper care. It can be washed and reused so you don't have to restock every month. The menstrual disc is a one-time use item and is meant to be thrown out after each use. You will need to buy a new package for your next period. Most menstrual cup companies suggest against having penetrative sex while using their menstrual cup. However, not all companies are against it. If you're curious, contact the company and see how they feel about it. Both the soft cup and the flex cup were created to be able to have penetrative sex while you're on your period. Since a menstrual cup can be washed and reused, there's nothing to toss into the trash and nothing to create an odor. Since the menstrual disc is a one-time use item and is meant to be thrown out after each use, it may create an odor if it's not rinsed out before it's placed in the trash. 
Well, that's all I have for now about the menstrual cup, and that's all I have about the menstrual disc. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you used both of these menstrual collectors and which one you stuck with in the long run. Until, Until I see you next time, time take, take care. care.